The Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction has created an interactive map of the data from the Indicator 14 Post-School Outcome Survey from the 2023 survey window. This interactive map allows a viewer to interact with the data by LEA and by county. This visual map can be used by transition teams, county communities on transition, and other interested parties to begin to determine if students with IEPs at their time of exit are involved in post-secondary school, are competitively employed, are participating in some other type of post-high education or training, or are engaged in other employment. The map also displays the percentage of respondents who are not engaged in any of these activities within the year following exit from high school. Respondents to the survey were exiters from school districts in Wisconsin who had an IEP in place at their time of exit and exited during the 21-22 school year. Exiters may have left their school by receiving a diploma, receiving a certificate of attendance, reaching the maximum age of eligibility for services, or having dropped out of high school. Respondents have been out of school for one year at the time of the survey. The first map, labeled Higher Education by LEA, shows school district boundaries with a solid outline, tribal lands are, no are noted in yellow, and county boundaries are shown with a white border. This interactive map displays Indicator 14 outcomes shaded in by school district. On this map, darker colors indicate higher percentages of participation in that category. Districts with no shading did not participate in the survey in 2023. One fifth of the districts in Wisconsin are required to participate in the survey each year. All other districts are invited to participate. The legend is located in the lower left of the map. On the higher education map by county, red and blue dots represent the public and private universities located in that county. On any of the maps, a person can click on a district or a county and see the specific data for the area that they are viewing. The next two maps display competitive employment by LEA, which is the same as school district, and by county. The yellow outlines on the county map notes the workforce development areas in Wisconsin and have their corresponding number located within that boundary. On this map, darker colors indicate higher percentage of participation in that category and districts with no shading did not participate in the survey in 2023. In the other post-secondary and other employment maps, along with those not meeting criteria categories, the color scale is flipped to show the lowest percentages in the darker colors. These are areas that less participation in the category is what the state is wanting to move toward. As you are viewing the map, a few things to note. The home button is located on the lower right and will take you to the original map itself. Using the plus and minus signs is an easy way to navigate the map. You can click and hold on the map itself to move it. Using the pinch and scroll features on a touchpad can be tricky because the map is touchy with these features. Um, there are also arrows at the top right that can be used to expand the map for easier viewing. This map can be viewed as an overview of the data and individuals and teams can hypothesize on what pre-employment transition services are being provided and what needs are not being met. Having regular discussions and reflections on the collaborative pre-employment transition services provided to the current youth with disabilities can help support their success after high school, including being college and career ready. I hope you enjoyed interacting with the Indicator 14 Post School Outcomes interactive maps.